it is a relatively weak year, right? You've seen a lot of out-of-conference losses that you're not used to seeing recently. I mean, when you look at the Heisman Trophy, that's an award that has been dominated by the SEC as of late. And uh, I think there's actually some interesting value to be gained from the exercise. Okay, let's look at the conference right now and who are – like, who is the legitimate Heisman leading candidate from the conference? And, I mean, look, okay, let's start at running back, right? Ray Davis from Kentucky is very good, but is nothing overwhelming that's going to win that award. Uh, Luther Burden from Mizzou, Xavier Leggett from South Carolina, Malik Neighbors. These are three of the top five receivers in the country statistically, but it took Devontae Smith basically rewriting the record books to break through as a wide receiver. Uh, Dallas Turner's fourth in the country with five and a half sacks. But AJ, I saw Will Anderson two years ago go go to 17 and a half sacks with 33 and a half TFLs and still not get the Heisman Trophy. So five and a half ain't gonna cut it. Um, and then it's like, okay, well, the only position that can really win this award anyway nowadays is quarterbacks. Well, surely the best conference in the entire country. Has it caught me? We've seen uh, Bryce Young recently, Tua Tonga Baloa, uh, Mac Jones was in New York, right? Like Joe Burrow winning the Heisman. Surely there's someone, and no, not really. I mean, Jaden Daniels would be your best bet. You see the chart right there. Um, Brady Cook is like, you know, like I love Brady Cook from Mizzou. I can't wait to watch Jaden Daniels, Brady Cook go against each other this weekend, but. Brady Cook's story is nice. It's not Heisman. Now, Jaden's numbers are he's fourth in the country yards per game, second in touchdowns, fourth in the nation in rating, but the Tigers are three and two. They are wasting a Jaden Daniels New York City season. Aaron or uh, AJ, do you see getting my SEC quarterback six up? <laughs> do you see any um do you see anybody in the SEC right now that could potentially take home uh college football's biggest trophy? Yeah, like you said, T-Bow, I think it's an up-and-down year. Um, the only person I would argue for right now, um, you know, f- four or five games into the year just watching them, is Brock Bowers because of what Brock means to that team. Um, regardless of whether you put him there or not, I mean, the dude's probably going to be a top-five pick when he comes out um, for the NFL draft. And, He's an unbelievable difference, um, you know, maker on, on the field when he's on. And uh, Georgia, for them to continue their success uh, throughout the season, they're going to, you know, need to get Brock the ball as much as possible. That's a great answer, AJ, because like, like you said, so Brock plays a position that doesn't traditionally win it and hasn't won in a while, but that could actually help him. If he's the main driving force behind the number one team, that would certainly help. What, what about, like, when you're an elite quarterback, because, look, I, I got three kids. I know you got a bunch as well. My middle child loves her blankie. You know, got to have it. Like, <laughs> I've always felt like a great tight end is a bit like a blankie for a quarterback, right? It, it just it, it makes them feel good when they need something to fall back on. Is that accurate? Like, what is it about having a guy like Bowers that is different than having a great wide receiver or a great running back? Oh, 100%, because – if you can have mismatches with a tight end with a linebacker teams that want to play you man to man, um, it, it makes for unbelievable mismatches and, and it always is in your favor. Right? So, Hey, this team is a big man team, especially on third and six or less. They're going to, they're going to play man, whether it's just straight up man, two man, one robber, one hole, like, and you, they try to figure out, all right, are we going to match him up with a linebacker or now are we going to put a safety on him who's a little more athletic but more undersized? Um, it, that's what makes it tough uh, for the defense and makes it, you know, swing I- into your favor as an offense big time. 